I'm going to talk about frog fishing. You know, obviously my first seminar is going to be on something I probably won more money doing in my career. As a matter of fact, last year on the Bassmaster Elite Series, I had a pretty rough year, but I can account for all five elite cashing, you know, checks due to a frog. Um, the frog came into play at, at Ross Barnett, at um, uh, Rayburn, even came into play in the last event we had of the season when everyone was smallmouth bass fishing. Um, I had an event in my life that was a, a you know, a changing event, but uh, I went and I just, I could not focus. And uh, so I went straight to the bank and did what I do best. And that's, you know, throwing a frog. Throwing a frog to me is, it's, it's more than just a confidence technique. It's, it's, you know, you know, you're going to get the right bites when you do get the bites or the big ones, but it's also turned into muscle memory. So um, you kind of lose that conscious, you, you forget about when you got a technique that you, you, you know, you're dialed in that good, you just go with the flow and you don't have to think and you just, your casts are perfect and it's just, you know, it takes a lot of time and a lot of time in the water to evolve any of these techniques and especially the frog. I think what I like about throwing a topwater frog is it's a real versatile bait. You know, we think frog fishing, we think we're going to go out there and we're going to throw it on the thickest cheese mat like I got in the back there and just kind of pop something along and something's going to bust through. Well, that's to me the funnest way to catch them and you're kind of mimicking a frog at that point. But it's evolved into baits that look like bait fish and brim. And, um, so I'm going to share with you a frog that I've worked over a year, actually probably developed over my entire career by taking everything I like and every little frog out there to mimic just about every single uh, presentation I can think of. And uh, it's the new Boom Boom Frog. But first, we're going to get into, you know, obviously what you need equipment wise. Um, I've been with iRod now for I believe seven years, and before that I was actually developing my own rods uh, with a company out here, American Eagle Rods. Uh, we started doing a rumbastic series, and uh, then I got an opportunity with iRod, and that, so I took my designs that I had done, basically just myself, and uh, had them made through iRod, and I'm very pleased with them. Um, this is my Genesis 2 rod that they got up there right now, but the one I really like, well that got a lot louder, um, is actually my 754 Air. And I'm gonna pass this rod around, I want you guys to feel it. What it's got on, you'll notice it's got a long handle, it's got a 12 inch handle. I like that longer handle on my frog rods um, because a lot of times I'm casting real far with a frog or you know, I, I need that leverage kind of into my gut as I'm hoisting them because a lot of times you're pulling cover, you're pulling grass and that fish and you don't ever want to reel in a bass with a frog and try to fight them and play them. You want to just get that thing going and winch that sucker in. So uh, having a good rod with a long handle is essential. So anyway, that's what we did, we made the legs a little bit wider. Um, you can trim the legs, a lot of guys will trim it to kind of match the hatch, the bait. Um, I don't really mess with my frog legs. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to have a frog that I had to do a whole lot to out of the package. So um, I basically put the exact you know, length I wanted. I went and did a lead weight on the bottom that's triangular shape. Um, and, uh, and the reason being is if you've got a round one, a lot of times it kind of gets in the way of the collapsing of the frog hook. So when that fish comes up, I don't want anything to get in the way of that bite. And that's a pretty good bite on a frog right there. I'm gonna pass a couple of them around and let you guys look at them in a minute. Um, this guy is supposed to be available right now on Tackle Warehouse's pre-orders. It's being delivered March 1st. If, uh, it's, if you don't see it here in the next couple hours up there on the site, you can always pre-order them through stanfordbaits.com as well. Um, and then here's the cool thing about it. We got this new um, patent pending frog fur on the top of the frog. And, everyone, I, and, and I've posted it a few times. I haven't said a whole lot about it because you know, we wanted to make sure we got the patent going through on it. But what it is, it's, it's a military grade of Velcro. And what that does, the bass's teeth complete Velcro. And so when this fish comes up and grabs it, and we patched it right here, and actually we were gonna mess with different shapes of it, square is perfect because no matter how the fish comes up, it rotates in its mouth when you pull that hook in them. They hold on to it. So a lot of times you're getting those frog bites and you're getting short strikes. This is going to help solve that problem. I've got, uh, I've got a 10 year old kid out there selling baits and uh, you know, I kind of had him in mind with this because I want him to go out and have fun with a frog. I don't want him getting those bites and not having the power, the hook set. I want him catching more fish. So uh, it, it's, I mean, you guys, it's, it's a really cool deal. But the action this frog has, the softness of the material, um, we also threw some, a rattle in it. Um, the one in the far right, that was after El Salto. You can see how tore up that sucker is. Um, but we've got it right now in six different colors. Um, let's see, if I, I just want to make sure I mention everything I got on here. Oh yeah, and the super strong eyelet. So by doing that, by adding 
frog fur, what will happen is the fish will want to grab it, and you, when you go set the hook, it, it's caught in their mouth so hard, it's going to want to pull off the nose. So we went ahead, instead of just saying, oh, we want a welded eye, we went and built a whole new, I'm going to pass this around so you guys can see this. There's no other frog out there that's got a component on it like this. But man, if you can get on these fish with a, a round docks with a frog, pick up that 6-5 to 1 ratio reel. You'll be able to keep it in that strike zone longer. And, uh, and that's really the thing with all fishing um, is the bait, the bass are around the bait, keep your bait in that strike zone. Um, here's what I like about fishing frogs in a situation like that right there. You've got, you've got open water lily pads. And this is kind of one of those things, a lot of people don't like fishing pads and they go, ah, I just can't. I love it because I'll fish like Darnell, the last elite tournament. Now, I barely got paid, but I caught every one of them on a frog. And I sat in an area that I believe is Darnell, if I'm not mistaken, probably where I was fishing in the tournament. I never had a boat around me the entire event because there weren't enough strikes. I mean, it was so vast of cover and people weren't getting enough strikes to really feel like they could, you know, pull it off in a tournament. And obviously, I didn't catch enough strikes. But the ones I got were big. I think I weighed in a five pounder every day. And I know I hooked big fish at the tournament in that event. Um, it just got me wrapped around pads, which sometimes you can't help that. Um, but anyway, what I'll do is I'll take my power poles, I'll anchor lock down, and I just fan cast. You know, try to cover every little bit. And then um, I like to get, like if it's a little bit of a breeze or something, I like to get my boat positioned and kind of turn it sideways, drop those power poles to make a slick spot. It just seems like if you've got the breeze running on the edge of you and you can work that edge of that breeze line, it, it does something enough to the water and that little slick spot to really get their attention to bite that frog. So that's a cool little tip. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.